journals or something like that because all my journals end up with huge mouths. Uh, this one is just held together with some uh, bias tape. Not bias tape. Seam binding. Um, this is a embossed cardstock. It's a very nice cardstock that I've had for years and years uh, when I was scrapbooking. Uh, this is a, a freebie little seed packet that I thought was really cute and I put it in the front here. Um, I guess this journal is called uh, Country Diary. It has a lot of Edith Holden papers in it and it was inspired by Edith Holden um, papers. It's a project that I followed along with Carol Tenson from uh, Crafty Emporium Designs. It's uh, a one signature, just plain on the back. Um, this was a piece of paper that, uh, it's a piece of found paper, came out of a garage sale situation. This is a page, piece of a page out of the uh, Edith Holden book that I uh, have, and uh, we'll go inside and look at it. Uh, this is an Edith Holden page, this lovely butterfly. It says it's a small tortoise shell, and it looks like a tortoise shell. And uh, it is a pocket, and I've put a, a nice big postcard that has a, a little cluster on it and some lace and a small pocket with a ticket, a small little tag that says be original, and a small little postcard. And it says smile. Very important to smile. Okay, we need... <laughs> that doesn't want to go back in because of that little ticket. Uh, this is a Martha Stewart punch, edge punch, coffee dyed. This is a page out of Edith Holden. This is a, a like a feel rose. This is uh, just a coffee dyed paper. And uh, this was from a tag from um, Deli Girl 1961. And um, it just had the right colors and I liked it, so I used it. And this is a flip up and it has a Edith Holden image on the inside, a primrose, and a butterfly and a little piece of um, burlap. Just a uh, edged page, coffee dyed, a nice ticket, and a journaling card. This is a uh, ticket. I keep calling tags tickets. This is a tag that I made, <laughs> and this is on a counting page, and a nice vine here, and this uh, tag is also from Edith Holden, and I just love this particular tag. I don't know why, but it just hit me right. And a nice image here, too. It's not Edith Holden. Um, this is another Edith Holden. It came from the uh, month of March. And this is the Country Diary uh, series. And each, the, each month is represented with her uh, paintings and her um, poems and different things that she selected in her writings too. This is a Sweet Violet. A small page with a little watering can and a butterfly. And on the other side are some more butterflies. And this page uh, was one of Carol's 
inspirations, I guess you could say. Um, I did a little differently than she did, but nonetheless, it's her, her idea. Um, she framed a picture, and so I did that, and I put some lace on the bottom, and lace on this side, a tab, and then I put another frame on this side so that when you turned the page, you were enjoying this little card, and when the page is over here, you've got this lovely um, flower, lily. And that's actually a postcard type uh, size. A small bag, paper bag, and it has a nice journaling card in it. And a little tab from um, another little piece of Edith Holden paper and some more lace and more lace and a cloth tab that pulls out. And this is actually a little piece of the book too, but it just had like grasses on it. It looks almost like cattails, but uh, I thought it would make a little nice card to go in here and you can write on the back of it. And uh, another lovely image. Now this is a sort of the intricate part of the book and I hope you can see all of it. Um, this is two envelopes that have been put together and uh, you can put journaling cards or most anything that you want in here and then you open it up and you I decorated this with uh, one of the Edith Holden pages and this is also an Edith Holden uh, tag shape the month this came out of the month of April and this picture and this picture on this end are on the same page and I have a couple of more tags in the pocket that I've made now I'm going to close this up before I forget another picture of a nice bird and another uh, tag that I've made and this is just a little short um, tracing paper. <laughs> I couldn't think of the name of it, tracing paper. And uh, pocket here holds a little booklet. And uh, this happens to be a piece of wrapping paper. And I have put it on card and used it with this little booklet. And this is just coffee dyed paper. So lots of places to write and a stamp from New Zealand that I recently got from Tammy. Uh, beautiful stamps. An envelope in the center, and I haven't uh, glued it. I could decorate a little bit more if I wanted to. And I put the center in into the envelope. Uh, here's another little cloth tab. This is the Song Thrush's Egg. Beautiful egg. The other side of that tracing paper. And another Edith Holden tag. And a tuck. Um, this is a Tracy Fox pocket. And this was a freebie and I believe it came from Tracy too. An envelope that you can fold up and make yourself. Um, this is also out of the Edith Holden book. And a tag I made and a card that you can journal on. And these little cards also came from, uh, no, yes, Tracy Fox. That's a Tracy Fox, too. And this just has some journaling papers and a nice tag that I made. And this is another pocket from Tracy. This actually is an envelope that I have attached to this. And I didn't close it up because it's interesting to read the information inside. And that's strictly, you know, entirely up to the person who has it, whether they glue it or not but I didn't 
I just left it open. And it also can be taken out or it can be moved. And this is the other end of the little small tag. This is Edith Holden paper, lovely little uh, oxalis and a little cluster that I've made. Uh, this is called Wood Sorrel, but it is an oxalis. Um, a nice little pocket here with some scrap papers, a couple of tickets, and a large, a large ticket. Uh, this is our belly band that uh, we put in the book, and Carol helped us with that. And it's this slides up and down, so it, it's it's an interaction, <laughs> which is very cute, and it's also a pocket. So I put another piece of that uh, grass or cattails in there, and it fits inside the belly band. A nice coffee dyed page behind it, some more um, accounting paper and a few images that I've sewn on, a coffee dyed page, another image, and another pop, uh, envelope. <laughs> and again, I've sort of left it, so, and it's up to the, you uh, what you do with it. But I have decorated it or altered it a little bit. And this is the other end of the roses. It was a June coffee dyed. And this is a little flip out that's actually attached to this back page. Oh, and I don't know the title of this book, but it was another book that uh, we were inspired by. Uh, Carol was using it and um, so I bought one to use too. And on the back here, I have uh, another envelope that opens up like so and has these pockets inside. You've got a pocket here, and this is just a little fake envelope. And that was inspired by Jane Hall. And uh, these are, uh, this, is, this is from... Tracy, and a nice egg, and a nice rabbit, and I believe that comes from Artie Mays. And I just uh, put this on with some little clips, and it could be taken out, it could be moved, whatever you'd like. And that's the back. And this is actually used Artie Mays's. I, I'm going to take this off and show it to you. Or maybe I can just show you here. Uh, this is her eco dyed paper. And so that's what I used as the base. And um, I hope you like it. And I hope you'll give me a like. And uh, I've started up a YouTube. And I hope you'll subscribe. And I will be back. Bye bye.